Ben & Jerry's is taking its activism to your ears, and McDonald's is facing a lawsuit from 52 black former franchisees. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand, Hit Miss of the Week. Let's kick it off with the miss. McDonald's is facing a lawsuit from 52 black former franchise owners, alleging the company engaged in discriminatory behavior against them. According to court documents, among the accusations by the former franchisees are that McDonald's steered black franchise owners towards stores located in inner city neighborhoods, which are less profitable and have higher insurance and security costs. It gave black franchise owners misleading financial information about stores and locations and didn't offer the same rent relief or other financial support it offered white franchise owners. This is clearly a matter for the courts, but it's also a bruise to McDonald's brand image as it follows other accusations of discrimination over the past few months. Back in December, Business Insider reported that the number of black owned franchisees has been shrinking for years and the average black owned franchise nets $68,000 less a month than the overall franchisee average. Then in January, two black former executives sued the company for racial discrimination, alleging it became overtly hostile to African Americans in both words and deeds, including firing and demoting black leadership and pushing out black franchisees. In June, McDonald's CEO Chris Kempsinski told CNBC, quote, probably McDonald's has created more millionaires within the black community than probably any other corporation on the planet, but there's still work to do. If these lawsuits hold any bit of truth, that's a supersized understatement. The hit goes to Ben & Jerry's. This week, the ice cream brand announced it was teaming with Vox Creative to create the first branded podcast for the Vox Media Podcast Network. No, it's not a detailed expose on how they create new flavors, though that would be amazing. The new six episode podcast will actually deep dive into the legal discrimination, segregation, and state sanctioned violence black people in America have faced since the end of slavery. It's called Who We Are, a chronicle of racism in America, and it kicks off September 15th. Hosted by best-selling author Carvo Wallace, it features Jeffrey Robinson, Deputy Legal Director of the ACLU, and the Director of the ACLU Trone Center for Justice and Equality. Each 30-minute episode will focus on a different period of American history and specific issues like housing discrimination, education, access to health care, and the accumulation of wealth. There are few brands who have been as vocal or consistent as Ben & Jerry's on matters such as racial inequality and climate change. While many brands have tiptoed around the issue, this is a brand that's come out and said the words white supremacy. Last year, it launched a flavor called Justice Remixed, a limited batch flavor with sales benefiting the Advancement Project National Office, a national civil rights organization that works with local grassroots activists to fight for racial equity and put an end to systemic racism. It also had fudge and cinnamon in it. It may be an ice cream brand, but as this new podcast and the company's other initiatives illustrate, it doesn't go soft when things heat up. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching.